I am Catherine Devlin. I am a Python programmer and database administrator for 18F, which is a new agency in the U.S. federal government. We fall under the GSA, the General Services Administration. Um, I've been there about mm, nine months now. The purpose of 18F is to basically work IT projects. Generally, they are um, web access, um, you know, web development, various projects to expose public data to the public more efficiently, more effectively. There's a lot of federal agencies that already want to do this. The trouble is that they haven't had a good, efficient, effective way to get it done cheaply and well. Um, obviously, this is a problem that in the private sector, loads of people know how to work on, but those solutions have had trouble penetrating into the public sector. By creating a brand new agency, which is made entirely of open source experts, we are able to get around some of the bureaucratic troubles that would uh, interfere with adoption of open source technology, agile methodology, and basically all the best practices that the private sector has been using for a while now. Basically, we work a lot like a private contractor would in some ways, in that an agency will come to us and say, um, we need to expose this data, or this, this website that we have is out of date, um, and we'd like you to build a replacement or an improvement on it. So in that sense, we are um, it's as if we're just folks who do the work for other agencies, kind of like they would to a private contractor, although the fact that we are within the government makes that relationship easier, because there's more of a trusted relationship between two government agencies. So that, that in itself cuts down on the paperwork quite a bit. So in a sense, we're delivering software. That's kind of our number one mission. The other sneaky part of the mission is not just to deliver the software, but to educate about the methodology that we're using. And from what I understand, your Quebecois agency um, has been all about education, but didn't have the clout that goes with being an actual provider of desired services. And fortunately, 18F is in a position where it's in very high demand among other federal agencies right now. So it gives us a really good platform to speak from. And when we talk to people about why we're successful and how they can duplicate that success even if they don't work through us, the fact that we're delivering good software efficiently gives us a microphone, helps people to pay attention. In a sense, we would like to become completely obsolete because open source will be the norm. Um, it'll take a while to get there. Uh, in the meantime, we're certainly going to be growing quite a bit of, of our own business in terms of the stuff we do directly. But yes, um, what we can do directly is just the tiny tip of the iceberg of the change that we want to accomplish. So um, the, the, the attitude changes, the awareness of open source, that's what we really want to spread. And really setting a precedent. In a lot of cases, even when there are policy documents saying you should use open source, until the middle managers have seen that it's been done successfully, they're not ready to step out and say, yes, we will. Nobody wants to be the first one in an agency to use open source. And so hopefully before long, they won't be the first one. They'll be the second or the third or the fourth, and it'll be proven within government to everyone's satisfaction.